one quickly mentioned before that in another in another instance of somebody fucking up the bag and messing up their position this is it i know some of you guys don't care about no jumper you don't watch it but i do and i like it and one of the guys associated with no jumper do know he's kind of got his own podcast called brown bag podcast and brown bag podcast is what it says on a tin um i think they're all mexican but essentially it's kind of like one of those kind of mexican cultural um podcasts where they interview people from i guess the mexican and latino latina culture and stuff and whatever it may be and it's doing it's done pretty well um to the point where they got um, signed, actually, right? Brown Bag Podcast, as you can see here via the screen. They got signed by LA's Power 106 to do a show on there. So imagine a podcast that you're doing on YouTube. You're getting your ads money. You're doing some brand deals and shit. But then suddenly a legit radio station in LA's Power 106, the biggest radio station out there on the West Coast, says, hey, come on, do some morning shows. And we're going to put it under the name of Brown, Paper, of Brown Bag Mornings. And as you can see here on this article, it says... Uh, Morello Media Arithmetic CHR Power One FM debuts its third new morning show in three and a half years with launch of Brown Bag, which features Letty Panecci Martinez, who was part of the previous Power Morning Show, uh, Ross Cranvic and Duno. The trio will be hosting a podcast of the same name since 2021. So it's a pretty big boss move, especially off the back of Duno basically leaving No Jumper off the back of what happened with T Row and AD and stuff. It was a pretty good move, right? You loved it, right? Good to see. But then out of nowhere, the other day, just the other day out of nowhere, look what they look what they post on the Instagram. They posted this. Brown Bag Podcast is going on hiatus as we plan out the future. We will update you guys as soon as we can. And they turn off the comments, so no comments, so you know you can't comment on it, just likes on that one post, so no one can gossip and talk about it. And everyone's thinking, what's happening? What's going on? What's going on? But then I remembered a few weeks ago, maybe a couple of days ago actually. Brand Bag Podcast on Power 106 had an inter had an opportunity to interview Oscar De La Hoya. And for some reason, after the show, Duno decided to post this on his Instagram once they finished interviewing Oscar De La Hoya on their show. He posted as this on his caption with a picture of them together with Oscar. He said this. Sat down with Cookie with, with sorry, sat, sat down with Cokehead that made it, unlike my dad. And did a dope interview with the Brown Bag Pod. He was trying to sniff us. Shout out to Oscar De La Hoya tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Imagine getting Oscar De La Hoya on your podcast. Or sorry, on your radio show. Legit radio show, by the way. And then calling him a cokehead on your Instagram. <laughs> Obviously he is. We all know what he gets up to. Cool, whatever. But just the unprofessionalism of it. It's fucking wild. And what makes it funny is that, again, this is what I think overall, the fans, the fans are undefeated. The fans are undefeated because if you go on No Jumper Reddit, people have been saying for the longest time that Duno was doing too much. Duno is annoying. He tries to force jokes that aren't funny. He interrupts all the time. He doesn't know shit. They were, they were complaining, some people, why has he even got a hip-hop show on Power 106 when he doesn't listen to hip-hop because his hip-hop knowledge is awful. Even just, you know, even not, you know, black people hip-hop, just whatever hip-hop, he's just not knowledgeable of it in the slightest. And then he's people are complaining about that and saying that he's, you know, he's basically bad for podcasting and does bad podcasting. And then very soon later, he ends up shooting himself in the foot shooting himself in the foot by writing this utterly insane and incredibly unprofessional caption sat down with a cokehead that made it unlike my dad which is kind of a joke right so that became joke because his dad recently died and i think they're saying he died of an overdose or something and he might have been a cokehead cool whatever but then he said and did a, a dope interview with him brown bag pod he was trying to sniff us and he added the guy he tagged him in the post can you imagine how unprofessional that is and obviously Whoever manages Oscar De La Hoya or just the powers that be over there at Power 106, they probably saw that and said, you know what? It's a wrap for your show. Wrap it up. So the podcast is on pause. And now I've heard um, the recent episode of Power of Brown Bag podcast, actually, that was also a Brown Bag um, show that was on in the mornings on Power 106. They, it was it was Sans Duna. So the show they did recently, they did it with just these 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 two guys. Let uh, Vic, that Vicarious do it and Letty. No Duna. So clearly Duna's been fired. 
crazy 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 business but also i don't know if he is is where's oscar de la hoya from is he is he actually mexican or is he somewhere else or is he from peruvian or is he peruvian as someone else said it what's his background uh it doesn't say it does it is he mexican i don't know he's american boxer let's see what it says here is he actually mexican or is he peruvian let's see mexico Oh, it's, okay, it's, oh, it's, okay, it's Mexican, cool. So, I heard, I'm not sure if it's true, maybe some of you guys in the chat can let me know. Someone, I read in the comments somewhere where they said people make too much of a big deal out of Oscar de la Hoya's alleged cocaine use because they said in some parts of Mexico, maybe Peru uh, and, and Peru, that people sniff coke, that they, like they smoke weed. Is that true? That's what I was saying. People of that... There's some regions of Mexico and Peru where people legitimately sniff coke as much as they sniff, as much as the people smoke weed. So the fact that he does it a lot isn't that big of a deal. People do it a lot all the time. They do it while they're eating dinner, while they're at home, while they're washing the dishes, going out. It's not that big of a deal, really. That's why he doesn't think it's an insult when people keep calling him a cokehead because it just is what they do. Yeah, mid conversation. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. <laughs> so, yeah, they have candy with cocaine in it in Peru. Wow. Okay, cool. Uche, I didn't know that. So that makes sense then because people always co call him a cokehead, but he doesn't seem to be that annoyed by it. So maybe that's the reason why it's legitimately a lifestyle. You know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, big up Oscar de Hoya. Um, I <laughs> was that uh, seven dirty. I sniff coke to do the dishes. Respect to you. <laughs> to think you can crack a joke like that is very unprofessional. Exactly, a story to tell. Define sniffing. My best friend bought me back some. Hey, the De La Hoya is a legend. Not where Oscar's from. He's white and, and and a decent family. I'm guessing. Okay, cool. Okay, whatever. I read it online. It could be a troll. Someone could have been trolling me. We don't know. But anyway, moving.